the show Sister called me, said she heard me on the radio Auntie called me, said she saw me on the TV screen She's proud of me and happy that I'm chasing dreams Even at you, man Never knew it come to that Hey, man I know y'all keep on asking me for that ride wave template. Well, here it go. And it's for FL Studio too. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com, and you should definitely know by now that this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. So if you have not yet, and I know you know I'm talking to you, hit that subscribe button, hit the like on this video, leave a comment, and just say, what's up, Wavy? At least that's the, the least that I can uh, ask for for all these gems that I'm about to give you, all right? So, you know, in my attempt to help the recording process, help the mixing process, I love a good template. And so this template that I have is the Rod Wave style template. Uh, basically, I listen to this Rod Wave song. What's it called? Uh something whatever it is y'all know what i'm talking about once i play it right so it's one of these new rod wave songs that's pretty tight now one thing y'all definitely got to keep in mind is that i cannot sing okay now rod wave can sing he can sing his ass off he's actually more of a like a r&b singer than he is a rapper but that's neither here nor there right we make we genre bending all the time right um but that's just my first disclaimer i do not sound like rod wave but the point of this template is to get effects and processing in the style that rod wave used on this particular song um and if you like that style if you like that flavor then this template can actually help you to achieve that sound i'm gonna play this i'm gonna break down what i did give y'all some outline some background about you know how i went about approaching it a little bit on my thought process and i'll leave a link to download this template in the description all right so um yeah let's just go ahead and take a listen She heard me on the radio I think all me said she saw me on the TV screen She's proud of me and happy that I'm chasing dreams Even at you best Never knew it come to that <laughs> I told y'all I can't sing, man But uh, yeah, that's the uh, That's the Rod Wave uh, style um, I think it's, it's pretty damn close His, his uh, performance on this particular song already won featuring Lil Dirk really consists of just that lead vocal and his background vocals where he is carooning man let me tell you so uh let's go to the mix window and break down this lead vocal track um let's actually delete this one your session will look very similar to uh the session that I have right now right I might add a little extra sauce on it for y'all to actually go and download this template but um the lead vocal track Pretty much, of course, I'm starting with Auto-Tune. If you don't have Auto-Tune Pro, you can use any other pitch correction um, that you want to. Now, for Rod Wave, when he sings, it's not very noticeable. The tune sound is not like T-Painty. So I didn't go too hard on the... Um, well, I went pretty fast on the retune speed because I can't sing. But I turned up the Humanize to actually smooth that out, right? And I would not even start to play this uh, vocal without no auto-tone because, trust me, you would unsubscribe immediately if you heard my raw vocals. <laughs> and then we're just doing a little bit of filtering, man. You know I love to work with a filter. Let's actually change that to natural phase for this. Get rid of any extreme low end and definitely any extreme unnecessary highs. Uh, DS and you know, we do that. Multi-band compression, we always got to do that. One of my favorite other plugins, though, after I do multi-band compression, it's going to be a distressor. And if you don't have this particular uh, multi-band compressor that I'm using, the MIG DSP MC404, I would first suggest that you get that. Like, that is one of the one of the uh, best plugin bundles that you can get is the MIG DSP. Uh, I think it's called the ML2000 uh, bundle and includes this and a few other uh, types of uh, multi-bands. 
but definitely you want this MC404 for sure. But you can use a, a, a Waves C4 or C6 if you already have that or any other type of multiband compression, compression that you already have. But the Distressor, I like it because it adds saturation. It adds some more character and also is good for game makeup after I've done my multiband compression. Um, so if we bypass, let's just bypass these last few things. Let's just hear uh, without the distressor up to that point. Right, so you can hear how the immediately that level is dropped all the way down. So I'm doing a lot of lifting with the distressor. All right. <laughs> One of my other new favorite uh, plugins is actually this Fresh Air plugin. It's a free plugin that you can download straight from Slate, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Slate Digital. You can download this for the free ski, but let's hear what this is doing. I'm going to bring this one in. That fresh air, it's like being closed in like this and then opening up like this. Like that thing like from here to there, from here to there. It's literally adding a breath of fresh air um, onto this plugin. Again, it's a free one. So I definitely uh, suggest that y'all get this one, download that as a free plugin, adding some uh, saturation in the high end and the mids to really boost them out. And I couldn't stop there. I love the Saturn. And that Wavy Sills Elite preset that you can get by being a Wavy Sills Elite or by buying one of these templates, man. But, you know, you can just get a glimpse of it here. I ain't going to show y'all what I'm doing all the way. But uh, let's hear that. Yeah, quit playing with your boy, man. All right, and then we got our time-based effects down here. Of course, I love to do parallel compression on my lead vocals. So um, starting off with the parallel compression, then we have uh, a one-eighth note delay. Am I using that? Yeah, I'm using a little bit of that. That's just to give me some excitement and some space on the left and right sides, I think, um, on that plugin. I definitely had that ping pong effect, and I'm uh, filtering out some of the uh, low and high frequencies on there. Uh, one little tip, if y'all ever using the age delay, make sure y'all go over to this analog setting. And if you don't want to have any extra noise in your recording, turn that analog setting to off, all right? Because that can actually introduce some noise. Now, I have a wide plug-in in here. And then as I was working, I was like, damn, I need it to be even wider. So I'm using a doubler effect from Waves and then also a, the Air Chorus effect, which is a, a stock Pro Tools um, chorus uh, uh, plug-in. But it really added something. Let's hear it without these two widenings and then the double wide. That's a new technique, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my Trailer Park people, you know what I'm talking about? Uh oh, <laughs> and then obviously I'm putting too much sauce because Pro Tools is like, bro, we tripping. But the, even though it's such a small amount of those chorus effects, like when they're out of there, the feeling kind of drops a little bit, right? So that just helps to increase the overall stereo spread and just makes everything sound more lush on that mix to me, man. And of course, uh, we got the reverb as well. Gotta have some verb, verb, verb. Our verb is a great reverb plugin. I like it, it's easy to work with and it sounds good for what we need, man. I even got a little limiter on our master fader, but let's talk about the ad-libs though. Um, one of the main things that I'm gonna point out on this ad-lib track is the Avox Duo. Uh, I talked a little bit about this plugin before in some other videos, and I actually give like a little uh, overview of this plugin over on uh, the Antars uh, page. But this is a simple way to make something wider and more exciting, right? So let's just take this off. Um, 
I said, I'm going to bypass it. We're going to hear this uh, backgrounds. Focus on the ad libs, the backgrounds in the back. All right. With all the reverbs and delays and stuff, it's sounding okay, but let's hear it with this in. Yeah, so I really like that on those ad libs because it gives it this nice, airy, wide, super effective feeling, which I think works perfectly for this song and it matches up very closely to what Rod Wave did on the original version of this song. All right, remember that. Your voice is different. Your performance is going to be different. Obviously, you're not going to sound exactly like Rod Wave, but if you like the effects and the processing that he did on this song, then this will get you really close to that, all right? Um, I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Check out the website. I have this template and a whole bunch more in all different styles and all different genres to fit the sound that you are looking for and to help you get there a little bit faster, all right? Um, so go ahead and hit the download. Drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this video. And I'll catch y'all next time. Be dope. Phone ring on the way to the show. Sister called me, said she heard me on the radio. I see called me, said she saw me on the TV screen. She's proud of me and happy that I'm chasing dreams. Even at your best, never knew it come today.